going on guys welcome back to the channel sorry i've been filming in a while i don't know what i've been doing pretty lazy but uh i pretty much finished up the uh, land cruiser and i'll show you guys what i did to it and uh let's take a look my goal was to shoot videos as i did all the updates to it but i got kind of annoyed and distracted so i wasn't able to do it i just did it on the suspension but uh here it is 2002 toyota land cruiser i bought it with 100 and 71,000 miles and we'll talk about what, uh, what I did to it so before we do that let's start at the bottom the video I did shoot as you guys can see uh, ignore the rust I do live in Michigan it's the old man emu suspension I added the uh, coils in the back along with the struts I went with the heavy because I do plan to put a camper up there and there is a bunch of weight I don't know if you guys can even see anything back here. There's a video on that that I made when I did uh, update it. But... All right, guys, we're going to start in the front here. We're going to talk about the ARB bumper. Got the turn signal. It's pretty easy to install. You just need some help to line up the sides, but it was it probably took me about three hours overall. I added a Smitty build. 10,000 pound winch. I could have gone with a 12,000, but I wanted to save a couple hundred bucks. I don't I don't think I use it that much, but maybe it was a mistake. We'll know. We'll find out at some point. We can see the paint. I did a paint correction. or oh, I didn't do it, but I got it done professionally. Paint correction and ceramic coating. I took a video right after I did it, but today is very sunny. You can see it. I don't see many swirls, and it is it does look very nice for being an 18-year-old car. This car was in the Arizona desert for its first 17 years of its life. But uh, I think it was a good job. You can still see some swirl marks if you look closely, but not bad of a job. Then down here, let's talk about these uh, wheels and the tires. These are 295 75 R16s. I try to buy three different pairs of, uh, of rims. None of them fit, unfortunately. This, this car does have this hub right here that prevents most of the... 16 inch wheels from fitting. You do need a space here if you want to run them all the way around. I decided to bypass that. I ended up just uh, spray painting them, not spray painting them, but uh, plastic dip and black. And I think they came out all right. Uh, the little bit of water is I sprayed some of the tire shine, and that's what you see there. Coming over here, I got the knuckle off road rock sliders. Pretty easy to install. A couple of different little hooks up there. We can see that. The one, two, three. The diamond plate up here, or back here, I should say, pretty sturdy. No problem whatsoever so far. Hey, uh, let's talk about the roof rack. I went with the Baja roof rack. As you can see, it's got the uh, sunroof opening. And uh, pretty simple. No complaints there. Let's talk about the rear bar now. The rear bar is a Dobinson 4x4 rear bar. I got this, I want to say, maybe four months ago. It does a good job holding the wheel and tire. What I don't like about it is the fact that it is already peeling. You can see here, rust here, rust here, rust, rust. And I haven't really used it for more than going to the grocery store. This right here is a pain in the ass. This goes up and down, but for some reason on both sides, it's pretty much seized up. And some rust there. I was kind of disappointed by... Uh, but this rear bar, it is cheaper than most out there, so I guess you you get what you pay for. On this side too, and this you can see this is pretty much won't move at all. But uh, it does look good, and I guess I can just paint, touch that stuff up. Shouldn't be a problem. And pretty much the same thing on this side here, guys. So. At this point, I'm pretty much done with the outside. The inside has not been touched. It's still stock. The only thing I did was remove the rear subwoofer as it was busted, and I haven't had a chance to fix that yet. But what do you guys think? It looks pretty nice, right? All black. The black wheels with the BF Goodridge KO2s on there. I'm pretty happy with it. I took it uh, to Torch Lake last week. If you guys know what that is, that's in northern Michigan. It's about 250 miles north of Detroit. And I pulled my boat, as you can see here, 
and it did a great job. Yes, I got seven miles to the gallon, but uh, the boat did a great job pulling my family, all our stuff, and the boat. I'll make some more videos as I uh, start using this thing. I do have the uh, Smitty Mill tent it's in the garage. Yet to use it, so when I do use it, I'll make a video. And hopefully it works out all right. Right now it's got 178,000 miles. And uh, still runs like a champ. Thanks for watching, guys.